Hello you beautiful lot, my name's Purple and this is The Cotch. If you like the video, hit the like and subscribe button, then hit the little bell for the notifications and we can let you know about The Cotch. Peace, love and light. I hope you enjoy the video. Right, good morning you beautiful lot and welcome back to our Christmas special. So Merry Christmas everybody. Um, I'm afraid I'm out here on me ones. Um, Leanne can't make it out this far. Um, and to be honest, neither could I. That's why a good old friend, Tommy Good, donated the Koch a bicycle. Thank you very much. Um, and where I am now is I'm at Ringstead and Addington Station site. Today, we're going to continue our journey down the uh, London and North West Railway, Northampton to Peterborough branch line, to Frapston. Now, Frapston for this railway is desolate. There's really nothing much there. So, <laughs> to end this Christmas special, I've got a little treat for you. So, I haven't been there yet, but I know it's there. And we're going to make our way to Frapston using the old railway line, taking the sights, and I'll show you what I found in Frapston. Looks like Ringstead Marina. on the film stock. We are the light that shines through. All else is just smoke and mirrors. Distracting, but not truly compelling. I've often said that I wished people could realize all their dreams and wealth and fame and so that they could see that it's not where you're going to find your sense of completion. Like many of you, I was concerned about going out into the world and doing something bigger than myself until someone smarter than myself made me realize that there is nothing bigger than myself. I love these bridges and all these railway bridges from that era have all got free arches. I mean, look at the soot, the black staining on it. Awesome. Let's have a look. Our eyes are not viewers, they are also projectors that are running a second story over the picture that we see in front of us all the time. Fear is writing that script, and the working title is, I'll Never Be Enough.
be a lot more uncomfortable than what it is. They've done a bloody good job in patting it down. Oh, in a proper railway gully. Don't you love it? where it was. I absolutely love the look of this wood. And I did get stopped talking to a couple of gentlemen um, and they mentioned that <clears throat> this wood has been untouched for many, many, many decades. But it's all full of oak and it's all twisted and there's loads of ivy in there grabbing everything down. In the summer, I would love to get in there and have a look. Because when the railways were here, no one could get to it and have a look. So I reckon there's gonna be goodies in there. That would, Jamie. <laughs> Don't do that. all the time, you'll never hear what anybody else has to say. And therefore, all you'll have to talk about is your own conversation. The same is true for people who think all the time. That means, when I use the word think, talking to yourself, sub-vocal conversation, the constant uh, chit-chat of symbols and images and talk and words inside your skull. Now, if you do that all the time, you'll find that you've nothing to think about except thinking. And just as you have to stop talking to hear what others have to say, you have to stop thinking to find out what life is about. And the moment you stop thinking, you become into immediate contact with the unspeakable world. Yeah, and you see? That's it, and that's where it ends, right here, with this last little bridge. That's it, I mean, I'll make my way under the A14 and round to the other side, I'll see what's over that bit. Should be around here. 
but there's brambles everywhere. <laughs> Look at that down there. Oh, that looks like a bridge. Oh, wow. Ooh. Jelly ears. Ooh. Here we are. Awesome. Right. Well. Oh, does it do that? Isn't that awesome? Absolutely love it. Right, but the railway will come down here. And this is the problem. Boom, there's a lake. And there's nothing really to see there. So, yeah. Hmm, I'll show you some clips of what it used to look like. Frapston Bridge Street was opened the 2nd of June, 1845. And then the, the road, Bridge Street, was then added to it on the 14th of July, 1924. The station closed its doors on the 4th of May 1964 and then completely closed altogether on the 7th of June 1965. And it is sad. But it leaves a story for another day. Because I've got something else that was passed to me by a gentleman named Mr Forsyth. Nice to see you. To see you nice. And he tells me I should follow the viaduct. So I looked on the maps and I found a little summit. So we'll go exploring. Let's go up over the viaduct. Oh, I didn't actually know this, but on this Kettering to Huntingdon branch line, it leads oh. to Frapston's other <laughs> station. Frapston's Midland Road Station. Oh. Ah. And here we are. <laughs> oh, wow, look at them rivets. steam train looking out the window and seeing the curve of the viaduct yeah brilliant let's continue on
to yeah, this used to be Frapston Mill. You can still see the stonework down there. That's cool. Been looking into mills and you know oh right there was you know we revolution we revolutionized the way of manufacturing products but just because they didn't have a use for one thing does not mean that they don't have a use for something else now i've been looking into hydroelectricity and what's what's why can't we you know develop these mills you know keep them looking beautiful of course but wire them up to you know electromagnets so therefore they create free electricity i mean i've i've looked you know in the doomsday book all over northamptonshire there was hundreds and they all you had a use why not make them useful again i don't know Ooh. And I believe I'm coming to the end of the cutting here now. And just like the one in Wellingborough, press cog close, which is half finished. I've got a video for that as well. I built houses on it. Of course, these ones are the company didn't go bankrupt and start up another company in a different name. But. So this estate is actually finished compared to the one we've got in Wellingborough, but yeah. Right. But what I want to do is have a look at this wall. railway cottages with two LMF carriages as sheds. Beautiful. Right, what I'm going to do though is I'm going to try and find somewhere I can lock up my bike because I've got a bit of a trek to do. Right, so the bike is safely locked away for a minute and the Huntingdon Viaduct wall is just there. Uh, and this area used to be another station apparently. And the big sidings works for the ironworks industry here in Frapston. So, after someone come through on Facebook, Mr. Forsyth, thank you very much. He's uh, <laughs> sending me on a little wander down this way because apparently, in one of the forests, there's a load of hidden treasures. Frapston Midland Road Station. It first opened on the 1st of March 1866 as Frapstone, spelt with an E on the end. And then it was renamed to normal Frapston without the E on the 1st of October 1885. It was then fully renamed Frapston Midland Road Station on the 2nd of June 1924. On the 15th of June 1959 it closed its doors to passengers. And on the 28th of October 1963, after Dr. Beeching's orders, the station finally closed altogether. You know, when one of them, when you look and you think, yeah, I'm lost. But I know I'm the Kettering to Huntingdon branch line. And I think I need to head into that forest just over there.
we're up here. I can see a lake from there. Sitting on the top of that creek. Let's go explore. Treasure number one. We are close. We are so close. But where do we go? Where do we start? Oh. Oh, wow. Oh wow, iron carts, I was looking at that, and there's the top, oh that's awesome, look at this, now the rails look very small, and they're very, very narrow, I mean look at this, oh wow. Oh, they're everywhere. Little rail house. Calling little rail house. Calling little rail house. Wow. Oh, this is amazing. So, hmm, maybe it was just a quarry, or maybe it was a mine, but that looks like it's all caved in. That's a shame, but at least we explored it. And you know what, folks, I'm going to leave this here, because I, I, I've tried getting through, and it's impossible, absolutely impossible. So... Yeah, but this quarry would have led off from Frapston, uh, the other little station which was off the Ketrin to Huntingdon line. So yeah, more quarries. <laughs> more mushrooms. 
Uh, but yeah, that'll do from me. Awesome, eh? So, all right, yeah, we couldn't see Frapston, but I'll give you all the information. And I also give you something spectacular to watch as well. So, cool, eh? I hope you like the video. I hope you have a beautiful Christmas. If you did, please share it across the board. Let people know all these beautiful walks and the enlightenment I'm giving to people. Um, because people all across the board are, are watching the videos and I'm all about changing one mind at a time. So I'll give you all the knowledge and let you guys go take over, go explore. So hit the little subscribe button, which will be up here. And then don't forget to check out these two videos as well. I hope you've had a brilliant Christmas and I hope you enjoyed the shows. Peace, love and light with a touch of North Fancy Unity.